hey guys what's up it's your boy debuggers back again with another tutorial on unity in today's episode we will be talking about exporting your unity game to any platform such as pc mac linux you get it but we will be basically talking about android because we had done a full series on android through our youtube live stream so make sure you check that out so let's get into today's video so the first thing is install unity hub so first of all uh, after you install unity hub from google or uh, the official side of unity um, you should open up unity hub and then go to the installs right here and then uh, you could add a editor so go ahead and click on this add and you need to select a version of unity and unity itself recommend you to download um, or install unity 2019.4 and why uh, 2019 is uh, good for android developers is that uh, when you click on next you could see um, under this android build support there's android sdk and ndk and also jdk uh, so make sure to mark this everything because you need sdk ndk and jdk tool for exporting apk file so uh, why uh, choosing 2019 version uh, you could choose other versions but uh, if I choose to choose an 18 version and if I click on next, you could see I can't get that SDK, NDK and JDK tool with Unity. So those guys who are having a version like 2018, uh, they will not get SDK, NDK and JDK tool. They need to download it from Android Studio or use Android Studio for exporting APK file. So um, that's a tip. Uh, use 2019 version or above. So you could see if I uh, choose 2020 version, uh, you could see there also you will get SDK and NDK also JDK. So go ahead with the newest version available. And in my case, I will be choosing 2019 version. I have already done that. And if you are, if you are having already a unity version you could um, add module so if you are having 2019 version like me you could go ahead to this three dots or settings and click on this add module so let's click on that and you could see uh, i have already installed this and if you want to install others uh, platform or build support you could click on that and done uh, it will be installed so uh, that's it uh, now your project is ready to build or create an apk file and also uh, go to a project and now uh, this is a project I'm going to deal with. Uh, this is a project we dealt with uh, the Android game development course. So you could see the this Unity version. You could click and select the 2019 version and open the project. So now we could go to the uh, project and now the project is opened up and now uh, go to the files at the left corner so let's open our file so click on that and then go to build settings of so control shift b so open that up and now you could see i have done uh, i have put for the scenes so now my game is fully completed or i have just uh, this is simple calls so i have done on the live stream so right now you could see it's switched to android platform so because we installed only android build uh, so that's why it's in android if you are having different platform or different you install a pc build uh, the unity logo will be right here and uh, if you want to switch to android or different platform right here you could just click on the switch platform so you could switch to pc right here 
so right now it's on android uh, so that's what we wanted we installed android bill so right now you could go ahead and click bill and it will run so before doing that there are some settings you need to do to your game so uh, to do that go to player settings and build settings so uh, on the left corner of the build settings you could see player settings so click on that and you could see a uh, window popped up let's put that right there let's put it besides of inspector and expand that and you could see uh, you could type in your company name and stuff uh, go ahead go through this and uh, the important setting for uh, your apk is uh, go to the settings of apk and go to publishing settings go down there and this is really important because uh, this is about giving your apk security and stuff uh, so right now go here and click on this key store manager and then uh, go to this key store and create new and click on anywhere or uh, where do you want the location of this key store you could place that uh, so after that you could enter a password that makes your uh, everything keeping uh, password so uh, basically uh, you enter a password it should be really strong so make sure uh, there will be a password and value uh, you could do that so i think you guys could do that and as country code it's india i n so uh, di different different stuff so you could do that so that's really important when you're uh, exporting your apa to different location uh, so and also you need to enable this under minify release to pro guard it will be none at the first i have done to pro guard and also this to also pro guard and that's it uh, with this settings and all and after that uh, there's one more thing i need to show let's close this apply settings and now uh, go to the edits so go to the edits at the left corner and go to uh, preferences and then uh, maximize it and you could see the JDK and SDK and also NDK all um, installed with Unity so uh, now you could see that it is all there so let's close it and hit on build and I got one error uh, uh, at the first the, the error is that when I click on this build uh, they will say detecting S SDK and it will say it can't detect so the problem is uh, to resolve the problem you need to go to preferences and then you need to un un uh, uncheck this uh, every uh, takes and then uh, close this project and restart it and enable this so that unity could know the parts after you have restarted uh, the project so uh, that can solve the error of if uh, the unity can't find the sdk or uh, ndk or anything so now let's click on this build okay that i have already built the NFT. so let's save it uh, let's replace it let load yes it is detecting the uh, sdk tool and now if you get there you know what to do